Hey guys, Mr. Backerberg here. In this video, we're going to look at local or relative extreme values. Now, as we're looking at finding local or relative extreme values, so we're going to let C be an interior point on the domain of some function f, then we can say that f of C is a local maximum at C if and only if f of x is less than or equal to f of c for all x values in some open interval that contains that c value. Now we could also have a local minimum value and that happens at c if and only if f of x is greater than or equal to f of c for all x values in an open interval containing c. Now visually what these are going to look like compared to absolute maximums and minimums. So we've got this graph that we're looking at. Remember the absolute maximum is the highest point at any place on the graph. So this point right here is an absolute maximum because there are no other points that are higher than it. But if we look over here on the left hand side of our graph, we've got a local maximum. And that means that there aren't any points close to it that are higher. It's not the global maximum, it's not the absolute maximum, because there is a point higher, but nothing around it is higher than this point right here. It's at the top of a little hill, meaning that all of those points are lower than this one. Now as far as an absolute minimum, that's the lowest point anywhere on the graph. So that would be this far left end point here. There is no point anywhere lower than it. But in the middle here, at the bottom of this dip, we have a local minimum because it's lower than the nearby points. And on the far right end, we've got a different local minimum because there aren't any lower points nearby that one. So that's kind of the difference between absolute or global extrema compared to local relative extrema. That's going to be it for this video. Thanks for watching.